Hey everybody, it's Sattler38. Found a new version of this mystery box. You might already have seen it, but it used to have four packs plus the mystery card. Mystery card's usually junk, maybe a quarter card. It was $8.99. This one has half the packs and this is a dollar more. So we're going to try out a few of them and see exactly what's in these. This is uh, the Walgreens mystery box, $9.99, 2022. So this year, MJ Holding. They had a stock of the Gunslinger boxes too, but those are absolutely a waste of time unless they've changed up considerably. They did add this sort of plastic, so you can't just push in the box to see if you don't you have an auto or a patch or anything from it. Which is a positive, but the packs in there are just dire. And those uh, cards that we were finding out of the Gunslingers were all from that uh, Trevor Lawrence top set that was only really worth that signature. So all the cards were just kind of overprinted. But what do we have in here tonight? I'm guessing it's 2022 tops. I didn't see anyone else with this. Oh, I don't know what this is. Cooperstone? No, Chronicles from 2017. That's a good pack. Okay, I can dig that. What else do we have in here? This is all. Oh, we get a one touch here. And then 2022 Series 1. Okay, that's pretty cool. So before we get too much further, what do you think is going to have the best value? I kind of already biased myself. I'm going to guess it's going to be 2022, 2022 for two of the packs on some of these. So maybe this first box will actually pull something good. What is this card that's worthwhile? Uh, draft picks from 20... Oh, I don't even know. 2014, Reed Riley. It did come as a one-touch. About $1.50 of value if you think that they are worth less being used. Let's see if we can find a Wander. We pulled that amazing advanced stats card last time we messed with the tops from this year all right who do we have kato giolito one of his rookies pretty cool kimbrel moran you got a lot of shiny cards in the back who do we have rookie wise castro good amount of vets got our team cards here White Sox, A's, which are struggling to say the least in terms of attendance this year. Got the Chrome Stars and MLB. Now what, Acuna's back, or is very nearly back. I forget that if that was tonight or not. So hopefully he's able to pull off a return to form this year. Been out for, what, over a year at this point. Still PC in him, though. Okay, wish we would have got that in Chrome, but that's eh, still a 50 cent card, I suppose. Nothing else really too, too crazy, this first pack. We opened a single box of this 2017 Chronicles. It was below um, retail. I think we got it off Dave and Buster's, not Dave and Buster's, uh, Dave and Adams for like $18.99. Yeah, because a lot of these cards are very kind of plain looking base. But you'll get a card that's fairly good once in a while. Um... That is breaking from this mold. Maybe one per pack. Bo Jackson. We did get a numbered card, though, out of $9.99. Ryan Zimmerman. From the Nats. And we got a rated rookie. Who do we have? Tiascar Hernandez. All right, so that first box, we ended up fairly decent. Got a numbered card. We got a PC card out of it. Nothing too much to speak of beyond that, though. I wish they had the four packs in here, but obviously they're going to try to make as much money as possible. Box number two, we're going to get more of the same. Looks like it's the same set for our card. And... Hey, all right. Fair enough. Twenty twenty two Series 1, pack number two. We got Iglesias. Rogers, another rookie, Mason Thompson. <laughs> Charlie Morton, love that Braves, what, 70s uni. Shella, Stuart Fairchild. So a few rookies we can hold on to for a bit. Kalanick, future stars, I guess we'll put that in the PC pile. We got Anthony Bender. 
All right, that's about it for this pack. We got a throwback to 87, Joey Gallo, nothing special there. And Cabrian Hayes, another Stars of MLB. And let's see. This time around, we ended up getting Jake Jewell, the red, white, and blue version, just like the last time we saw. Not numbered or anything. But again, you get that one touch just to kind of replace with the hit that you pick up, I suppose. If you hit anything. Kind of sad we're not seeing much in the way of variation in terms of the packs. At least out of our small sample size. A lot of damage on these cards, too. This is the second pack of these that have various issues with the surface. Cespedes. Mookie. Mad Bum. Another numbered card here. That's a blue version. This other one was a gold version. Both are out of 9 No, this one's out of 3 dollars Will Myers. Pretty cool. Who's our rookie this time? Jorge Alfaro. Okay. I can dig that. Chronicles are doing us pretty good. Doing us better than those big packs. Final box of the night. Will we see the same sort of stuff? Yeah, they had restocked all the cards at the Walgreens. It had been a bit. Say a lot of the $5 uh, boxes I've shied away from after they start putting in those CFL packs. And then they had these for the first time today. Looks like... Okay. We have Update and uh, 2022 Series 1. And our third of these is... Alex Jackson. Well, that's the thing. Oh no, our random quarter card fell. Okay, there we go. Be nice to get a numbered card out of tops. We haven't seen any of the 2022 numbered yet, the gold ones. All right, final pack of these. Come back. I lost it. There we go. Kyle Tucker. Is that Acuna? Fantastic. I don't have that one. Keep going out of focus. I wonder what's getting some messed up. Maybe that. No? I don't even know. Let's try. There we go. Riley Adams rookie card. That was the thing. It's still going crazy. Renfro. Pretty cool outfit there. And we end this with a blue. That's royal blue. Pretty cool Tony Kemp card. Beyond acrobatic there. We have our rainbow foil Michael Brantley. And Yachty. Didn't open too much of this last year. Maybe a box of it? Maybe a blaster? Okay. This was always the hard stuff to read. Rodriguez. Corey Ray. Feliciano. Sixto Sanchez rookie debut card. Which is still funky that they have the uh, rookie card designation on it. Oh man, we got a Topps throwback. We have another Acuna, black gold. I have no idea what those odds are, but that's fun to get. Go back to 92 for Garrett Cole. And then what? We end up with a Seth Romero for our rookie pile. Uh, Peter Solomon. There we go. So, yeah, nothing too crazy. You got, oh, I don't know, maybe knocked off for a dollar. Those packs each would have been, what, three bucks, three fifty at a card store. One touch, like we said, is one fifty. So, about two fifty out per. That's kind of our biggest hit, I suppose. That pair of numbered ones was pretty nice. Three ninety nine and nine ninety nine. And then, of course, that one stars the MLB. Got a bunch of other rookies and stuff, but yeah, something fun to rip, especially if you don't have anything uh, around your neck of the woods. Anyways, this is Settler 38. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your night, and that whatever you end up doing, you have fun with it. Talk to y'all later.